Hello, I'm Dinesh Bahal, Vice President of Product Management for Sandus Corporation. We're here in Barcelona on the show floor of Mobile World Congress, here to talk to you about our announcement around the A1 cards. So let's talk about what A1 is. As all of you know, um, the card format, the micro SD format, the SD format is controlled by an industry association called the SDA, which stands for the Secure Digital Association. A few months ago, they announced the uh, A1 standard, and the A1 standard is actually a new dimension of performance. Historically, when you look at cards or any other product, you've always looked at sequential read, sequential write. The A1 is a new dimension which includes random read, random write. Um, and the A1 standard enables you to basically load apps from your card faster. Like I said, the standard was announced in October of last year. In January at CES, we announced the world's first A1 card, which was the SanDisk Ultra 256 gig card. And here at the show, we're announcing the SanDisk 256 gig extreme card that supports the A1 specification. The A1 specif specification is not unique to SanDisk. If you look up there, it's supported by chipset vendors like Qualcomm and MTK. It's also supported by a host of other vendors, including HTC, Huawei, Lenovo, ZTE, Lava, etc. So that's all about the specification. Let's actually see A1 in practice. So we'll head over here, where we have two identical Motorola phones. And on both of those, we're gonna execute one of our favorite apps, Angry Birds. So I'm gonna put on my glasses. I'm gonna execute Angry Birds on both of the phones. Now, the left-hand side phone actually is using the A1 card. The right-hand side phone is not using the A1 card. And you can already tell that there's a difference in performance from how soon the, from how fast the logo popped up, from the amount of, uh, uh, the percentage of that bar that's already been taken up. So this is the A1 based card and you'll see, or the A1 based phone, and you'll see that the app has almost fully loaded, whereas on the non-A1 based card, right? So now we have this, it's usable, and so on, and I can play with it. And here, this is still ticking away. There it is, right? So if you look at the difference between the A1 card, it's all about faster app booting from the card as opposed to a non-A1 card, which is slower app booting from the card. So that's what the A1 is all about. Um, and we're truly excited to be the world's first company to be shipping A1 cards, both in our Ultra 256 gig and in our 256 gig extreme. Thank you.